In this exercise, we will create a title block for use in mechanical drawings. The offset, break, trim, and copy commands are helpful for creating the title block lines, and the dtext and mtext commands are helpful for creating the title block text. I'll begin by starting a new drawing, and I'm going to use the default ACAD template. I will type in units, set my units to decimal with the precision to three places. On the status bar I will turn on my snap mode, my grid display, my polar tracking, and my O snap. I'm going to set my snap and grid to be 0.125 or an eighth of an inch for my snap and 0.5 or a half an inch for my grid. I'm going to uncheck the adaptive grid and display grid beyond limits check marks in the grid behavior area. I'll say OK. I'll do a zoom all. And then I'll go into the line command and begin making my title block lines. Uh, the first one is a length of six and a quarter. I'll then go up by one and three quarters. I'll come back over six and a quarter and back down. I can zoom in a little bit and then use the offset command with an offset distance of one half inch or 0.5 to offset this top line down. I will go back into my offset command and offset by a distance of two inches from the left boundary here. And then I'll break this line that I just offset at a point using the break at a point command found on the modify panel. I will select this line. I'll choose the intersection point as where I want to break it. And then I'll go back into offset and offset with the distance of a quarter of an inch, which is 0.25 decimal equivalent. I'll pick the line, pick the side, pick the line, pick the side, pick the line, pick the side, pick the line, pick the side until I have those quarter inch lines uh, all the way done. Now I also want to uh, offset by five eighths here to create this other vertical line. I can type in five over eight and then choose the line and choose the distance. I can use my trim command to trim off the extra that I don't need. On the right hand side of the title block I can do a 5 8 inch offset 5 over 8 decimal equivalent would be 0.625 select the line, select the side and then I'll do one more offset up from the bottom here at a quarter of an inch. So 1 over 4 or 0.25 decimal equivalent. Click and click. Finally there's some little vertical lines that are offset from the uh, right hand boundary here. First one's at 1 and 3 quarters. So I'll go offset 1-3 over 4. AutoCAD can recognize those mixed fractions. Hit enter, select the line, choose the side. <clears throat> There's a lot of extra I don't need so I'll trim it off using the cutting edge here and then select it to trim it off there. I'll offset it one more time, this time a distance of an inch and a half, 1.5. And then right above there's a couple more offsets to work with here. The first one is is 3 eighths. So I'll type in 3 over 8. Select the object, select the line. I can trim it off, TR, enter, enter trim out those portions I don't need 
and then I can go back into offset to offset the 2 and 3 eighths which I'll enter as a mixed fraction as well and then one more offset at 1 and an eighth so I'll go back into offset 1.125 is the decimal equivalent select the line select the object and I've finished up creating the lines for my title block now I need to go in and create the textiles and I can do that at the annotation panel from the home tab by clicking on the textile button here I can also type in style at the command line to get to the textile dialog box currently there's only the standard textile I'm gonna create a new one I'll call it little text that's its name the font type is txt so I can scroll down or I can just type in txt and it'll find it for me it's txt dot shx I forgot to select it there txt txt dot shx it has a height of 0.05 I'll say apply and then I'll hit new again to create the title text title text which uses the technic font for its font name it has a height of 0.2 I'll say apply and then I'll select little text and set that as the current text and if I go back into annotation here I can see that little text is in fact the active textile it's also helpful to work in the annotation tab on the ribbon and then I can immediately see my textile choices here from the drop down I'll keep little text as the current textile. Now uh, I can create the little title text using the single line dynamic text by typing in dtext or by typing in the command alias dt. For justification, I'll type in J, enter, and then I'll use the TL for top left justification because I'm going to put my first text up in the top right corner here. Click. I'll choose a rotation angle of zero, and then I'll type in contract number NO, period, contract NO. Let me make that all caps. Contract. Let me see if I can spell it right. Contract. N O. Period. Looks good. Enter. Enter. Uh, it's a little close to the borders here, so I'm going to create that spacing using grips. I'll I'll turn off my snap to assist in doing that. And I want to make just a little bit of spacing in between the horizontal and vertical lines here. Once I get just what I want, I'll use the copy command with a base point in the top left corner to copy this text into all of the different areas that have the text. And then I'll go back in afterwards and I'll edit those uh, text boxes. But right now I just want to make sure that every box that has text has this contract number in there. And I think I've got all of them. Once I have I can start uh, double clicking and changing these. This is the uh, company name. Below it here is the drawing name. Uh, I have the size here. 
I have facsimile, FSCH, facsimile number here. I have a uh, drawing number here, DWG, and O period. Whoops, change that to a D. If you make a mistake, you can just go back and double click. Here I have sheet. Um, this over here I have rev. Down here in the middle I have scale. And on the left hand side I have drawn, checked, and finally issued. So all my little text is typed in. I now want to place my title text in the company name area and that is Miracosta. I could do that using my single line dynamic text or I could use my multi-line text, my M text, which is available up here. I'll go ahead and just type in M text. I need to choose two points to define the M text window. I'll click here and then here. And then for justification, I'm going to select middle center from the drop down. I need to change my text style from little text to title text. So I'll do that up in the styles panel here. And then I can begin typing Miracosta college in all caps. When I'm done, I'll close the text editor. Looks quite good. And lastly, the approvals and date, which are over on the left hand side. I could do this with the multi-line text, much the same way as I did with Miracosta College, or I could use single line text with a reference line and the midpoint object snap. I'd like to demonstrate that, so I'll draw the diagonal construction line. I'll draw another one here, and that construction line enables me to go into dynamic text, uh, type in J for justify, choose MC for middle center, and then pick up that midpoint. Rotation angle is zero. I'll type in approvals. And then I'll do the same thing for the date here. Justification, middle center, pick up the midpoint, date. <clears throat> Looks perfect, nice and centered. I can delete the construction lines. The text is a little bit small, so I'll select it, right click, go to properties, and change the height of it. I'll make it, say, twice as big, 0.1 see what that looks like. Perfect. 